Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Baby, take a note off. Come on in. What's up, people? How's it going, people of the page? Hey, hey, hey. Happy, happy Monday. Hello, Miss Becky. Hello, Vicky. Thank you, Becky, for spreading the charms. Hello, Miss Pam. How you feeling, my dear? Well, hello, Miss Lorraine. Hello, Cindy. Happy Monday, Brenda from Katy, Texas. Woo -woo. Hello, Miss Susan. Good afternoon, Miss Patricia. Hello, Lee. Hello, Janice. Thank you, Susan, for sprinkling. Hello, Linda. Good afternoon, Kirsten. Where you been? Hadn't seen you in a while. Everything all good with you? Happy Monday, Miss Donna. I had a wonderful weekend. How was yours? Hello, Wanda. We are having a great day. It's Monday. How can it not be good? Right? It's got to be good. It's a Monday. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Renice. Hello, Deborah. Better than what I was. One, yes, ma'am. One day at a time. That's all you can do. I'm glad you're feeling better. That's awesome news. Hello, Sue. Awesome, Donna. So glad to hear. Hello, Annie. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, Miss Sharon. So, what's up, people? How was your weekend? It's been forever. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. So we're going to use this cute little sign that we've got from our subscription box from Damon. So this is what's in his monthly box. Hello, Robin. Hello, Phyllis. Can't get motivated today. Oh, Stacy, don't you hate those days? I hate when that happens. Hello, Miss Lori. Yolanda. Ooh, what you having good for lunch? Hello, Brittany. Brittany is new to watching. Welcome, welcome, Miss Brittany. Where are you watching from? Everybody, hello. Tell Brittany hello and welcome her in and give us her big Texas howdy. Kristen, where you been? How's it going? I sent you a message, Miss Kristen. Let me know if you received that. Hello, Heidi. Welcome, welcome. You're a bee addict. Woo. Hey, Miss Jen. Meatloaf and mashed potatoes. You know what, Yolanda? That actually sounds good. Yes, Miss Jen. It's going to be cute. It was so good to see you yesterday. We're going to do cute little bees. We got bee ribbons that match. And then we're going to do some black and white polka dot. Thank you for sprinkling the charms, Miss Patricia. Hello, Miss Judy. And we're going to do this black with a Chanel Edge. I am absolutely addicted to the Chanel Edge ribbons. If you've not tried them, you got to check these out. I love it. Brittany's from North Carolina. Well, welcome, Brittany. You're not alone. We have lots of other North Carolinas here. Hello, LaDonna. Thank you for sprinkling the charms, but is that not adorable? I'm totally addicted to the Chanel Edge ribbons. And then we're just going to do some plain yellow to go with it. So how cute, how cute is that? Hello, Miss Connie. Oh, we had an awesome, awesome weekend. woo -hoo. Checked out a new market on Saturday. So we're going to have a new home on Saturdays. Yay! Application got approved. So we were going to try that one. We've not seen that ribbon before, Sue. Oh, man. Right, Kirsten? Love it. Uh, craft outlet, Kirsten. Hello, Dorothy. Thank you for sprinkling this Phyllis. Everybody grab your drink and pull up your chair and have a seat. Let's get this party started. You want to just surprise me today? Surprise! Thanks, Miss Jessica. How are you doing today? Hello, my dicks. Hello, Anne. Happy Monday. So we are using our 18-inch frame. And we're going to do 18 Chanel stems. So we have 10 on the outside, 8 on the inside. We have our outside and our inside. Top, bottom. So if I'm talking about which one of those, that's what you're going to be inside, outside. What are we making today, Miss Dorothy? We're doing this cute little beehive. Look at this. 
I talked to Miss Tina this morning, Annie, about 9.30. Miss Christina was already dilated to an 8. So I'm expecting she probably has had baby Carter by now. I just haven't heard any difference. But she had already had her epidural and things were going okay. So, so we're going to start our first one and we're going to wrap it around our outside and our inside. And we are going to tie it on the inside wire. All my knuckles go on the inside wire. Yes, that was Ben Brick today. I'm surprised you didn't see you there, Miss Connie, on the way to Granberg. I figured that would have been right past your stomping ground. The yellow deco mesh came out of the uh, deco exchange subscri subscription box. Baby is here. All right. That's awesome. So I hadn't heard an update at since about 930 this morning. So I'm... So she was in the eighth then, so I'm assuming she's uh he's here by now. Eight pounds something. Oh, that's awesome. Good afternoon, Miss Kim. Hello, Karina. So we're gonna do these outside chinesins every five inches apart. You didn't go this weekend. Yep, it's right on 377, right there at uh, Dutch Bridge Park. So if you're coming off of 820, going down 377, going towards Granbury, it's right there on the left-hand side where the YMCA and the um, baseball fields. So before you get to Benberg Lake. You tie all three. I tie the middle and the outside on this one. He's adorable. Aw, hello, Sue. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you here today. He was born at 11, 17, 8, 0, 1. 8 pounds, 1 ounce is awesome. Thank you, Miss Jessica, for spreading the charms. You got chipmunk cheeks. Aw, I can't wait to go see. I need to go see now. So we're going to do all these outsides at 5 inches apart, and that will get us 10 Chanel stems on this 18-inch frame. And then we will do 8 on the inside, and they are going to be in the middle of each section on the inside because there are 8 sections on this Dollar Tree frame. Hello, Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, she let me know this morning, ladies, if y'all are looking at uh, ordering from... Uh, Dollar Tree. So if you're needing some frames or anything ordered, they had their $5.99 shipping special. So go grab your goodies if you're needing something shipped. So don't forget if you have it shipped to the store, it is free, but sometimes it'll tell you that it's back stocked. And um, And it'll be like a 30-day wait or whatever. But if you do it ship to house, they'll get it to you in like four to seven days. So, uh, look at my message. Okay. Hang on. Let me look at the message. Aw, baby Carter. He's just precious. That's awesome. Thank you, Jen, for sending me that picture. So I'm sure there is a disc, a code for that $5.99 shipping. Usually it's SAVE, S-A-V-E. So don't just get discouraged if whatever you're looking for says back ordered. Just ship to a house and use that $5.99 shipping code. Because that's what I have to do with my frames. Because they'll be back ordered to the store, but they'll ship them to my house. You lucked out and found four bags of Blake's. Woo, Becky! You better hoard them things. We'll be stalking you. Stalking you for the black base fillers. So thank you so much, Miss Nancy, for that information on the shipping. 
code for Shunsign. Thank you, Patricia. So this time the code for the $5.99 shipping at Dollar Tree is Sunshine. Good afternoon, Miss Georgie. Hello, Helene. Welcome, welcome in. Hello, Katrina, welcome. So if we've got anybody new here, please say hello. We'd love to give our newbies welcome and get at you get our big Texas howdy. You let us know where you're watching from. My name is Mindy and I am in Halton City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. And I go live here Monday through Thursday at 1.30 Central Standard Time and then at 8 p.m. on Friday nights. Hello, Tamika. Thank you, Katrina. I appreciate that. Jessica, she's new. Everybody tell Jessica hello. She is watching from New Hampshire. Welcome in, my dear. Everybody tell Jessica howdy. I hope you will grab a drink and pull up a chair and have a seat and hang out and chat with us while we're making this cute wreath. Just now trying to make Reese and I'm from Eckhart, Indiana. Well, welcome, welcome, Miss Tammy. Everybody tell Tammy howdy and make her feel welcome. Hello, Beverly from Alderney, Georgia. All right, so we're going to, this already has a, like a picture hanger on the back of this. So we're just gonna use that for our Chanel stem. So I'm only gonna add one cable mount down here to the bottom of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and kind of rough up this metal just to make sure the glue has something to hang on to. Hello, Lynn, welcome, welcome. And for you guys that are new, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We absolutely love to answer questions. If I need to redo anything, start over, explain it again, just holler out. I am more than glad to help you out that way. Eileen's first time watching. Everybody tell Eileen hello. Eileen, where are you watching from? Everybody tell Eileen howdy. Come on in. Oh, there's the Miss, there's a granny, Miss Tina. I just seen that picture of baby Carter. Can't believe he didn't call me and let me know he was here, but that's okay. I understand. How's baby and mama doing? We're using our 3M cable mounts. These are one inch by one inch cable mounts. You can get them at Amazon, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. Give us some details, Miss Tina. Miss Tina just had a grandbaby today, for those of you that are wondering what we're talking about. Miss Tina is from out in the country, blowing some more. She's here on Facebook. She normally goes live in the mornings, but she had grandbaby, first grandbaby come today. So, we gave her a pass today. So, we are pulling off the all of the sticky off the back of this. It has a paper that covers the adhesive, but I pad past that adhesive and pull it all the way off the back of these mounts. That way, it'll stick the plastic straight into the glue. It was in Facebook, Jessica. You're not supposed to be in Facebook jail. That's not nice. So we're gonna set that aside to dry. And then we'll start cutting our mesh. So we're gonna use our Melissa and Doug it's a tabletop paper roll dispenser. You can get them at Amazon or at Target actually carries it too online. So you can do shipping with Target, $35 or more and get free shipping or $5.99. It was on sale for $10 and 79 cents. Not sure if it still is, but it was. So anybody talk to Miss Betty? I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm thinking she's in Facebook jail too. 
Hello, welcome Eileen, she's in Idaho. We are using Deco Poly Mesh. This comes from a craft outlet. Renice, go off and come back in. Go ahead and log out the total video and come back in. Is it freezing for anybody else? Yep, I pull all the adhesive up. Timika, how many times you watch me now? You ain't never realized that? Michaela, what's up, my dear? What I miss? What I miss? What I miss? What'd you say? It's eleven seventeen a.m. Eight pounds twenty one inches long. Oh, big baby. I can't wait to hold him. Oh, she messaged you. Is she in Facebook jail too? Why do? Because they uh, say it's frozen for Linda. Anybody else frozen? Because they comment something and somebody reports them for that comment, and Facebook says they've been naughty. So that's why they go to Facebook jail. Or they say something that Facebook doesn't like for them to say and they go to jail. So, not there, good there. And if you're frozen, log off and come right back in. Hopefully that'll fix it. You have your own email. <laughs> Michaela, you're not supposed to go to jail. You're supposed to be nice. Uh, yes, ma'am. But it's still it still can let go of that plastic, Tamika. Even if you're using the E6000 and the hot glue, if not careful, just, just a warning that that adhesive can still let go. So that's why I always pull it off and then that way I don't have to worry about it whatsoever. Not freezing for Dawn, good for Lynn. Good for Jessica. Hello, hello, Miss Nancy. We're doing a bee today. This is the sign that we're using for anybody coming in. Hello, Joanne. Afternoon, Pam. Is that not cute? So it's a metal sign. It's not wooden, it is metal. Uh, right, LaDonna? Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to cut these at 19 inches. And we're going to need 18 cuts. Hello, Dan Lynn. Welcome, welcome. Beverly's not freezing. Okay, good. Isn't that cute, Dawn? Yep, Miss Nancy, she just popped in. Baby Carter was born at 11.17 this morning, weighing 8 pounds, 21 ounces. Did you say a mama and baby were doing okay, Miss Tina? may have said and I'm not missed it I'm assuming everybody's okay so now they're getting all their loves and hugs and and kisses yeah she did Danilyn absolutely so if she ever decides uh, to do this again she better not wait second baby comes a lot faster this first one went that fast Woo. She said all oh, were good. Okay, thank you, Connie. Thank you, Miss Becky. I said, I know she probably said, and I just missed it. Unfortunately, that does happen. So if I miss your comment, please don't hesitate to type it again. Because it's just me reading the comments, so I try to catch each and every one that I can. 
we'd like everybody to have their comments read and let you know you are being seen and heard. So don't get upset if I didn't answer it, just type it again for me. How many inches, Mr. Dorothy? These are 19 inches. That will use the whole roll because we need 18 cuts because we have 18 Chanel stems. We are using our Fiskars Rotary Tool. I get that at Hobby Lobby. It goes on sale at 50% off every other week. It is the titanium blade with a 60 millimeter blade on it. That's my favorite one to use. There are lots of Fisker cutters out there. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, Amazon. This is just the one that I like and prefer. Where did I get the beehive sign, Katrina? It came from Deco Exchange and the, um, our mystery subscription box. When I was on Facebook, aww. I'm glad you're out of jail now. And I'm glad you missed me. And you're back. Cable mount, yes ma'am, Miss Beverly. And they're one inch by one inch squares. And there is a difference in the sizes of the squares between the three quarters inch and the one inch. Let me show you the difference so you'll know why I tell you to get the one inch. Because of course, I bought the three inch or three quarters inch. So now y'all get to benefit from me buying the wrong one. They're made by 3M. That's a one inch. And that's a three quarters inch. So you can see there's definitely a difference in the size of the two. But the size is not really the difference that I'm looking at. The raised platform is what I look at. See how nice and wide that is? So you're gonna put the, your Chanel stem through that. Look how wide that is. Teeny tiny difference, yeah. You can barely get it. And if you happen to get any glue or anything underneath that, you're digging it out with some ice picks or something to get it through there. So that's why I suggest go for the one inch by one inch and not the three quarters inch. You're welcome, Katrina. Finished up to read the, at 4 a.m. What you doing up at 4 a.m.? That's sleeping time. got four custom order reads to do, so I've got my work. Yes, you do, Miss Danlin. But you know what? It's a good thing to have custom orders. That's a good problem to have. They're called cable mounts, Dorothy. C-A-B-L-E. Hello, Dawn. Welcome, welcome. got two. So, oh, go. Yeah, you got one track to mine going on there, Miss Nancy. Where are you at, Miss Jessica? It's almost three o'clock for you. It's almost two o'clock here. You're welcome, Dorothy. There's two sets of identical wreaths. Oh, awesome, Danilin. Those double doors can be quite interesting to do, that's for sure. Hello, Debbie from Florida. Welcome, welcome. This is called the Drift Border Stripe Mesh. So it has little tinsel Chanel at the edges of the border instead of like the foil. Oh, Michigan, that's right. I knew that. 
So that's why it's called Drift Edge because it's like little fuzzies, like the ribbon, the little Chanel ribbon, instead of the foil. Hello, hello, Miss Judy. It's almost three in Kentucky. Good afternoon, Miss Brandy. Two o'clock in Chicago, Chicago. So how was everybody's weekend? Who got to do sales this weekend? Do we have anybody with some craft fairs? I know my dicks had one. How'd yours go? Who else had a craft fair this weekend? Ooh, that's going to be tough to cut through. Not tough, it's just going to need a little extra pressure. What kind of mess is harder to cut through when you have the fuzzy borders? Yep, it is. Hello, Lashonda. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I was very honored for that nomination. Mm -hmm. I did that always oh, just a touch off. Yep, almost three and four. Just joining. Hey, Char, how's it going? Yes, it is a wide full metallic on the black. Yeah, Becky has one on the 11th. That's this Saturday. Woo -hoo. Yes, Miss Nancy, I did go on Sunday. Dawn's got a craft fair next Saturday. Everybody wish Dawn and Becky good luck for next weekend. Kim had one, sold seven. Awesome. Everybody congratulate Kim. She sold seven rings of hers. That's awesome. Went yard selling, bought some stuff to craft with. I love doing that at yard sales, LaDonna. Absolutely love that. I did that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Worked my tail off on Saturday. They refused <laughs> That works. You know what? Sometimes you need the day off, as my husband would say. He says, uh, you're allowed to have a day off. I'm like, what's a day off? What's a day off? There's no day off. Nineteen inches, Helen. Nineteen inches will give you eighteen exactly the same pieces. If you go twenty inches, which you should be able to do with a ten yard roll of mesh. But unfortunately we've come to find out that just because it says it's ten yards doesn't mean it's ten yards. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. So to be safe, cut them at 19 inches. That way you know you have exactly the same. First one since January. Oh, awesome. It sounds like you needed it then. Took a nap after Saturday. Now to work. Yes, ma'am. I'll be joining you, Miss Kim. I got to do that too, so... Saturday, we went and checked out a new market. It is the same distance as my normal Saturday market, except the opposite direction. The normal Saturday market business has been dwindling, so we're finding a new home. Working on a camouflage wreath, but I'm using hats and baby clothes plus mesh. Oh, that ought to be cool, LaDonna. You'd need to send pictures. I want to see that. You're welcome, Helen. So it's going to be a five-hour show on Saturday. And it's going to be from 8 a.m. That's already giving me a heartache. I don't do Canton LaDonna just because I've been told there's lots of wreath makers already there. So I don't want to go in some place that's already got wreath makers established. I want to go someplace that doesn't have any. And this one in Burleson, 
They have one on and off wreath maker that comes the first of the month, which was just fine. But she's only there for the one weekend and just comes in for a little extra money. So I would be the only full-time wreath vendor there every week. Looks like Homie Coat. That's what I was thinking. That would be, per it's going to be perfect for my bees. My bees, my bees. Some of my mesh I can't even cut with there. Well, that's no good, Miss Judy. Do you need a new blade? If it's getting hard to cut. You might need to change out the blade. Show you the label for the this mesh. Absolutely. It is a drift border. Well, let me hold it still, maybe. Drift border stripe mesh. It's ten and a half inch by ten yards. Let's see. Is the market new, Judy? Or the mesh? You're welcome, Kristen. If you're talking about the market, no. It is an established market. It has been there for a little over 10 years. And it has uh, at least 50 vendors a week, if not more. It already has lots of foot traffic. I spoke to some of the other vendors that were there, and they said they absolutely love it. But just like any market, it has good days and bad days, so... That's fine. We can take that. Good days and bad weeks, that's normal. So as long as it's not all bad. But they said that it's a really good hit for a holiday. So if you're looking for a holiday place, that's a good one to do. Is anybody else frozen or just Renice? Look at that. That stuff gets stuck all in my mat. Let me just cut right into there. Hello, Deanna. Hello, Lords. Welcome, welcome. It's okay for Miss Nancy. Not here. Right. I think it's just you, Renice. It's not freezing on my end, but... That doesn't always say anything. Uh, Jacko Exchange, Beverly. That's where it came from. You can probably get it at the re shop or the craft outlet, but this one came from Deco Exchange. Look at this mess. Look how it's just sticking to it. Hello, Omega. Right, Catherine? Oh, like seriously? And I put my new one on. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I put my new mat on. And look, and it's already going to go stick to it. See? See, if I put a new mat on again. All good. 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 I'm great, Lord. Thank you for asking. So I am very, very excited to try out this new market because it's a total opposite direction than I normally sell in. So it'll be lots of new um, potentials for customers, which I'm excited about. Now right, we're going to do the woodland ruffle, so we're going to fold it in about an inch, and then we're going to roll it three times. One, two, and three. We're going to clip it, and we're going to flip it. And then we're gonna roll it an inch in. One, two, three, small taquita rolls. Not burrito rolls, but taquita rolls. We're gonna push with our thumbs and we're gonna pull with our fingers and scrunch that right up to us, making our butterfly. And once we make our butterfly, we make our decision whether we want it to go curls up or curls down. I like curls up, so we're gonna go curls up and then we're going to put it horizontally right into our Chanel stem. And we're just going to twist that in there a couple of times. Did 
Yes, me too. I'm glad to hear that too. I am. I'm excited for it. So fingers crossed that it, it's a good market. Two, three. So I'm not expecting to do awesome the first day, just because it will be my first day there. So people aren't going to be expecting them, and they have to work up and do the research to see how my prices interact with others. So. It'll take a couple weeks before it gets good, but I can't wait. Chanel Sim Pipe Cleaners Fuzzy Sticks. They're all the same thing, Miss Tammy. I think, I think, what does the official, what does the official tag on the product say? Let's see. The official tag says Chanel stems. And it's also pipe cleaners or it's also fuzzy sticks. And I like to get mine at a Hobby Lobby because you can get these big packs of 140 for about $4. And I like the wire that's in them. They seem to be nice and sturdy. I don't have any trouble with them breaking. Even if I make a wreath let it hang out for a year and then redo it the following year to give it a little update. The Chanel stems are still just as good and work just as fine, so I like those. You wish you could do it curls like that. Use clips, Nancy. That's the easiest way to do it. Once you do the curls, one, two, three, clip it. And then do the same with the other side. One, two, three. And clip it again. So just use multiple clips. And then you can still scrunch it up even with that clip on. And then just take it off right at the end when you get it together as your butterfly. When is it? It'll be Saturdays. It's a every Saturday market. It's open March through October. And it's from 8 to 1. Which is, like I said, has given me a heartburn because I don't like, don't like to get up early in the morning. It's not my favorite thing to do. And we would have, we will have to be up at like 5 a.m. and out of the house by 5.30 because it's a 30 minute drive. And 6 o'clock will be our unload time. Yeah. So that'll be nice and, nice and, uh, early. Lots of coffee. Five hour energies. Now here's a question. All right, Miss Cam, let's have it. A lady tell me Saturday that she bought a wreath from a lady in Texas before. Have I ever shipped to Kansas? Yes, ma'am. I ship to Wichita, Kansas all the time. Every holiday she gets one, and sometimes in between. And I can't leave my Texas. Born and bred Texas. Not doing it. I even told my husband I'm not leaving. Gotta have my Cowboys. Gotta have my Rangers. Gotta have my football. Can't leave Texas. So we're at in Kansas, uh, Kim. Did she say? Miss Sharon, I hope you get to feeling better. Thanks for popping in. You have a wonderful evening and be blessed tonight. That is the large city I'm near. 
I thought later I should have asked her who she bought from, but I didn't think of it when she told me however you popped into her mind. She would be from the Witch Dairy Market. This is in Hayesville, just a couple miles. Oh, that's very, that's, that would, that would be funny. Kim, that would be absolutely funny if it was the same lady. One, two, three. Did you say anything about owning horses? Yeah, it would. It was like, talking about small world, that would be crazy. Did you get her name? This lady I send them to, she owns horses and does horse shows. Hello, Miss Jackie. How long do I cut the mesh and the ribbon for 14 to trick? Depends on if you want to use one roll or two rolls. I like 10 inches on my ribbons. And then if I'm going to use one roll, then I will cut them at 15 inches and that way do a double. One going horizontal and one going vertical. If you're going to use two rolls and you're not watching, you know, the amount of mesh you use, then I would go ahead and do the 20 inches. Yay, Miss Jackie, I'm excited for you. You have to let me know how it goes. You used to live in Amarillo Midland, really? That's close, but not close. We know how it is in Texas. Everything's close, but not close. She didn't really talk a whole lot other than that. I did not get her name. <laughs> right? That would be funny. Now inquiring minds want to know. Hello, Miss Jacqueline. Welcome, welcome. I got you. I knew what you're talking about. Midland, Odessa. You know, it's all about football. So we got Midland Lee and Odessa Permian out there. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. How are you this afternoon? So we are continuing on the inside and putting these on the eight Chanel sands on the inside the same exact way. Nothing changes. So that's just our our base is the horizontal woodland ruffles. I'm great, thank you, ma'am. Hello, Lucinda. Welcome in. So if anybody's wondering that has shows this weekend on what sold for me this past weekend, and I think I can say the same for Kim too, uh, Patriotic were big sellers. I sold a ton of Patriotic. And Summer. That were the, the two things that sold, Patriotic and Summer. So the Popsicle, and watermelon. And then 4th of July. Hello, Rita. Welcome in. Thank you, ma'am. We're glad you're here now. Is that not pretty? I love this hot wool mesh. Love, love it. Hello, Shirley. Welcome. I don't know, right? Someone's like the same spot every week. And I see she brought something. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm just saying. Sorry to, I did say that. I wish we would have got a name. That would have No, I want to know. No, I want to know. We'll never know. But hopefully she'll be back. 
And yes, you do get to know faces of the regulars if it's in the weekly market. I said I've like gotten to learn lots and lots of faces of those that are regulars at ours. Oh, my Derek's, I'm so sorry. Hate when that happens. Were they looking for something in particular that you didn't have, or were they just not spending? I had those markets where I sell absolutely nothing. And lots of lookers, they want to look at everything, and then nobody wants to pull the trigger and buy anything. Was this a regular market for you, Medusa, or was this someplace new that you went to? Hello, Dennis. 19 inches, my dear. Good afternoon, Di. How's it going? Where did I get my supplies for this one? All right, the black mesh came from the wreathshop.com. The yellow mesh is going to come from Deco Exchange. The yellow, solid yellow ribbon is Deco Exchange. And the B with daisies is Deco Exchange. The black fuzzy and the polka dot ribbons, those both came from craftoutlet.com. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Did you previously cut them into the size you're pulling them out? Yes, Miss Paula. I cut them off the roll at 19 inches at the beginning of this video. You can always go back and watch the replay. But it started out as the 10 inch rolls like this and we just cut them at um, 19 inches long. Open an Etsy shop this weekend? You go, Stacy. Stacy, post your Etsy shop on here. Let us give you some love. Everybody go favorite Miss Stacy's shop and let's get her some love going. Post that link, Miss Stacy. Post it, post it. Hello, Nadine. Welcome, welcome. Lynn's building finish and firework assortments. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lynn. Be be careful around all those. Nope. My one patriotic grief the lady asked me. Oh man, that stinks. So, uh, no, we don't sell them for 25 bucks. 19 inch, or 18 inch frame, Janice. Hello, Miss Daisy. Welcome, welcome. So y'all go check out Miss Daisy's Etsy page, Wreath Designs by Peach. 18 pot cleaners, Nadine. Then we're going to continue on with our woodland rubble. So we're going to fold it in an inch, roll it one, two, three. Little curls, taquito curls. Not big curls, little curls. And we're going to clip it, flip it, and we're going to roll the other side. One, two, three. Scrunching up the middle while pushing with our thumbs, pulling with our fingers into our little butterfly. So once we get our butterfly again, we're going to make our next decision. Curls up or curls down. You want a flatter wreath for in between storm doors, regular doors, do curls down. You like the poofier wreath, which I do. I like to go big and go home. We're going to do them curls up. And now, instead of going horizontally, like we did with the black, we're going to change it. You're welcome, Nadine. And we're going to put it in vertically. So it's just going to be another layer onto the black. So we're not going to open that chanel stem. We're leaving it close and just putting that right in, pressing it towards the frame as we twist it in a couple of times. And then we've got curls going this way 
and curls going this way so you can see all your curls. And we're gonna continue around the whole outside doing that same way. How much is a good price for wreath? Depends on what size they are. I sell this one at this size, the 18 inch, which winds up being about 27 inches in diameter when it's done. With two rolls of mesh, four different ribbons, a sign and a bow, I sell them for 75. So smaller ones, I sell for smaller prices. Good rule of thumb is to take your supplies that you put into your design and multiply it by two and a half to three times that amount and then that's your price. So you can have anywhere from $50 to $150 on a wreath and it all just depends on what materials you have in it. Hello Denise, welcome, welcome. You're very welcome Sue. If you need any help, you just holler it out. We will answer any and all questions that we have answers to. I absolutely 100% love answering questions and helping others out to finding the best deals, what we can use to keep our profits up and our costs down, especially with the way the world is going right now. We need ways to do just that. You're welcome, Miss Tammy. Hello, Miss Nancy. Welcome in. And I don't know about all wreaths. That's my disclaimer. I'm not an expert at all things wreaths. There are a million and two designs and the ways to make wreaths and how to cut it and how to fold it. I can definitely answer about my wreaths. But hopefully some of these other ladies that make wreaths in here will have an answer. So if, even if I don't have the answer and you don't think I'll know it, don't hesitate to ask that either. Because maybe one of the other ladies will have an answer and can help you out. We are awesome about helping everybody that's new and just learning about how, how to uh, make these goodies. That's what we're here for. You have really learned a lot. Awesome, Denise, you're very, very welcome. I'm so excited you're learning some. It's been scary doing this. See, now I'm the opposite. Mesh is my thing, grapevines are not. And that's the way it is. If you like one, then that's usually what your go-to is, so you get comfortable doing with that one. So if you venture out to do the other, then you get nervous and scared. So that's the way I do when I get um, to a grapevine. Then I second guess everything I do and what, can't know if it's in the right spot, if I'm doing it right, will this look good? So I understand. I cut this one, Denise. You can burn it, but I cut it. I like to cut better. I haven't done a lot with the burning, so it's not a favorite of mine. It takes me longer, and I'm sure that's because I'm not used to using it, so it takes me longer. So I stick my, my old go to the rotary cutter. How do you determine length of your mesh? There are two factors in that, Diane. One is by how many Chanel stems that you put on your frame. That's your first determining factor. And your second one is how much mesh you're wanting to use. So I know that a roll of mesh has 360 inches on it, right? And I used 18 ties on this one because I like to put them every five inches apart. So it came out to 18 ties. And so I'm going to divide that 360 by 18 to get the number that I need to cut it to use that whole roll of mesh, which is in turn 20 cuts. But a roll of mesh at 10 inches is not always exactly 360 inches. You cannot count on that, which is why I cut it at 19 inches. That way I'm guaranteed to have exactly the exact same number of, or lengths of cuts, and I had this much left. So had I cut those at 20 inches, I probably wouldn't even, I wouldn't have got that many. Because there's not, 
but 11 inches left on that. So if I cut all 19 and there's not 20 inches left there, so my last one would have been short. And the second is, um, and you know, if you're only wanting to use roll, one roll of mesh, then you divide that number. So say you're using a 14 inch frame and you need 12 cuts because you have 12 Chanel stems. If you're only wanting to use the one roll of mesh, then you're gonna have to cut it either at 30 inches for one long piece or two 15 inch cuts for two different horizontally pieces. It is very easy to open Nancy's shop, Miss Janice. Now finding all your words and all that to get seen on Nancy is a different story. But opening the shop and getting things put on there is very, very easy. You love to look great bottles, it's hard to sell. And that's it. I find my grapevines don't sell very often. My burlap sells on and off. And the flowers that I've done, I've only sold a couple. My mesh wreaths are what is my bigger hit. So that's what I make 90% of the time anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. They all make me nervous. Aw, Jamie. Have I jumped in and made a couple of wreaths using bath sponges? Awesome. Clothespin. Those clothespins wreaths are very cold. Yep. Mesh over the weekend. I'm going to jump in head first. You got this, Miss Jamie. You got it. I have faith in you. Miss Nancy, we're doing a cute little bee today. So we've got a welcome to our house. That's what sign we're using. Am I putting the black and yellow mesh on all 18? No, it's on all 18, Miss Jackie. So every single one. You can put mesh on a gray bond, absolutely. That's up to you. That's your choice of whether you want to or not. It looks great both ways. You're welcome, Jamie. One, two, three. I know you got this. got this you got this oh absolutely you want just football by itself you're asking me about football really football ribbon Lydia came from deco exchange Really? Football? Christy, you should have known I need to do as I said, football mama about football ribbon. This comes in different colors. So if you have it different colors for different teams. You can get it colored. So that's a more of a crimson red, where that's a more of a maroon. Uh -huh. And then, you have football ribbons like this, and you have football ribbons like this. So, pick your poison on what you want for football ribbons. You're nervous? What you nervous for, Miss Jessica? You're welcome, Lydia. There's a um, website called uh, the Sports Sports Wreath Shop. One word: SportsWreathShop.com. They carry lots of team sports on there. Thanks, Shirley. All right, so we got the outside done. Now we're moving to the inside. 
I'm going to continue on with our woodland ruffle. In my opinion, I like go to the wreathshop.com for my first choice. My second choice is craftoutlet.com. Because those are the fastest shipping. And so after we get that one on the inside, then we're going to reach under and we're going to move between the frame and the mesh. And we're going to pull these black curls up and out. So they're not hidden under those yellow. So we can see both together. You got it, Jessica. Yeah, Craft Outlet has tons of ribbon, rib, football ribbons. And so does uh, Reshop. But uh, the sports. Sports Reshop. I think that's what it is. Sports Reshop. They have lots of different teams. So if you're into baseball, hockey, softball, golf, they've got all those sports too. Basketball. What do you do with the roll after you use all the mesh? I throw it away, Dorothy. I don't have any use for it. Unless somebody can give me a use for it. As of right now, it goes in the trash. Hello, Sharon from Goodyear, Arizona. You're very welcome. I appreciate you watching and hanging out. So I will definitely give you my tips and tricks and my failures so you won't have to live through that. Hello, Candy. Welcome, welcome. How do I keep my frayed edges in? The woodland ruffle. When you roll it in those three times, that rolls your raw edges, which you cut right up into there, and it hides them so you don't have fray edges that pop out. Hello Beth, welcome, welcome. How are you today? You've been saving them to do a craft with them? Well you have to let me know what you come up with. Sports Reach up. There you go. I know it was Sports Reach something. So if you're looking for a particular team or um, sport, they have it. Thank you, Michaela. Wendy, welcome. How's it going, my friend? Welcome in. So I told you I went and checked out that new market in Burleson this past weekend. And now this coming weekend on Sunday, we're going to park. Go check out another new one. So we're trying to get out all kinds of new faces to see my product out there. Yep, Shirley, I sure have. I don't do it often, but I have done it. Done it. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Dorinda. That's right. You're here. That's all that matters. Would you suggest to cut the mesh with a chisel tip word burner or just a rolling cutter? Depends on what you're doing with it. If you're making flower petals and that type of stuff, then I would burn it with a chisel tip. Some people love to cut their deco mesh with it. I prefer to use my rotary cool tool. So that's something that's more of a preference of what you prefer. And the uh, burner will help fraying a little bit more than a rotary tool will. But depending on how you say, I can tell you what I like to do. But it's a preference on that. Some people love one way, some people love the other. Both are A-OK. -okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What's the new market in Burleson? And the new one that we're going to check out this Sunday is going to be in ben, uh, Bedford. Thank you, Ms. Linda. I appreciate that. Kendra, welcome, welcome. Fergie, how's it going? I did awesome this yesterday at my market. We sold 15. I had an awesome day yesterday. 
I do it by myself. It's good. You'll be fine, Miss Jessica. Shower curtain hangers to erase for displaying them. Yep, what do you use to display them on? Uh, let's see, Janice, I use, they are wire closet shelves at Home Depot. They are six feet tall and about, I'm going to say about two feet wide. Twelve, they're about, well, they're about 12 inches wide. They're not real wide, but they're six feet tall. I can put two wreaths per side. I zip tie three of those closet shelves together and make a triangle out of them. And so they make display stands. And that's what I use to use the shower curtain hanger to hang those on. There is a video here on this page, if you'll go back and look through the videos, that we showed um, everything that we use to go to fairs. So uh, from my tent to my chairs to my goodie bag to the weights, uh, the shelving that I use, how they're set up, all that. Um, you can go look at that and see everything that I use. And if you have any questions about that, you can just holler at me. But I have their wire closet shelves from Home Depot. Rotary it is, because I have <laughs> You're welcome, Jackie. Welcome, Miss Nancy. Everybody tell Nancy hello. It's her first time watching from Pennsylvania. Howdy, Miss Nancy. Pull up a chair and grab you a drink and have a seat. Hello, Catherine. Welcome, welcome. Nope, no storms here, Miss Connie. I think it's Facebook. Per truthfully. Nothing going on here. So I've had a couple others say they were it was freezing for them and then others saying it was just fine. What market did I do yesterday? Ben broke, Wendy. Yes, it was a great day. 15 is awesome. That's an awesome day. For a one day show, yep. I take that. And it was only four hours. That's even better. Right, so let's cut our ribbons. So we're going to do bees and daisies, polka dots, fuzzy edges, and plain yellow. You had a sudden hell? Ew, that's not good. I don't like hell. That's a damaging. We don't want hell around here. Hello, Susan. Welcome, welcome. So we are going to cut 12 inch tails using our easy tort boards from out in the country, blanksomewhere.com. You don't have any easy board, easy tails. That's what this is. That's an easy tail. It's the ribbon board that has the slit in it. It's the only one out there on the market. Out of all the ribbon cutting boards, this is the only one that has the slit in it. And we're going to need nine of each ribbon because we're doing four ribbons. So I need one, two, have any rain yesterday. Our rain came in Friday night. Friday night. That's when we had our rain. Thank goodness we didn't have nothing yesterday. Well, it might have made it a little bit cooler. That's for sure. What sign are we using? We're using this one, Miss Shirley. Is that the only one you have or is there another size? Uh, there are, they come from a four inch to, or six inch to a 14 inch. And they even have a little caddy over here. Let me see my caddy. It's heavy. But they even have a caddy that you can store them in. But they come in six inches. And they all come with bands on them. All the way up to 14 inches. So you can have, you know, get them any size that you want them. And then if they don't have the size that you want, 
then they can custom make you one. And that's out in the country, blanksandmore.com. And they have graciously given us the followers a discount code. So if you type in the discount code CHARMS, C-H-A-R-M-S, that'll get you 15% off your total order. Ordered your board yesterday. Woo -woo. Hello, Miss Cindy. Thank you for spreading the charms. We had rain on Friday and Saturday. Thanks, Dorinda. Oh, it did here Friday night, Miss Wendy. Woo. Wendy, we're going to be in Burleson on Saturday. Deco Exchange, Kendra. Yep, they sell a bundle. You can get a bundle. You can get most popular sizes. You can get the whole set. You can get them individually. Thank you, Beth, for putting that link in there. Yes, baby Carter is here. Miss Tina popped on for a minute to say hello first thing and said that baby and mama were fine and baby was healthy. Hello, Linda. Yep, even on the easy toes, you can use the discount code. You can use it on the signs, you can do it on the rails, you can do it on the easy toes. They code for all of it. Thank you, Nancy, for spreading the charms. You had over five inches, Connie. I don't even know how much we had. I know it was uh, flooding so bad that it tore up some of the streets that it was rushing. Over uh, down there, my husband works like two minutes down the road. Not, I mean, not even a mile, right? And uh, it was rushing from the creek over there so bad where they had fixed the potholes in the street. Uh, that was just coming up, just crumbled. It was horrible. You need help on ribbons? When I put them, okay, we'll go slower, Dorinda. Sorry, you missed the name of the board you're using. Easy Tells. And they're from out in the country, blanksandmore.com. And we're doing them at 12 inches and nine of each one. You're welcome, Virgie. Meant you can dedicate. Yes, you can get a discount on the Easy Tails too. Absolutely. I would love to. Where in Burleson? It's uh, right off Renfro. Right off 35 in Renfro, 141 Renfro, I believe. Just look up Burleson Farmers Market on Facebook. They have their own Facebook page and they're open from 8 to 1. Eight pounds, yes. Michelle, there's my purple heart. Aw, uh, thank you, Beth. Beth, put up my YouTube channel. I have it yet. I have actually started my YouTube channel. I would love to have you guys go over and subscribe. I think I've got six videos up there now. Woo, woo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, once I get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I can start making videos over there. So tell all your friends to go subscribe. Even if they don't like watching, just go subscribe so we can get that going. Bowmaker, what website you get them? Karina, I bought it from Decor Exchange, but you can also get it from Amazon or Easy Crafts. And that's the actual maker of the Easy Bow Maker. It's called EasyCrafts.com. But Deco Exchange carries them for $19.99, and you can get it on Amazon too. Out of 25 Reese, you sold nine. It was so not on. That's not bad, Miss Cindy. You take nine. That's an awesome day. Your backyard was flooded. Right, we needed the rain too, but we don't need the flood. We need the good soaking. Right, it was crazy. People don't, don't. You know, after all this time, you would think they would learn not to drive in flooded waters. Hello, Anna. Welcome, welcome. Yep, at YouTube. 
I am YouTube as Mindy's Charms. Miss Beth put the link up to the, my YouTube channel right above. Thank you, Miss Beth. I appreciate your love. So even with all that talking I did in there, look at that. These easy tails, we just cut up 36 pieces of ribbon, exactly the exact same size. In about 10 minutes. So of course if I wasn't flapping my gums, it would have taken a lot less. But if you don't have easy tails, check them out. They're awesome. Hardworking mom has, she has bow makers for $14.99. Oh, awesome. That is definitely cheaper from Amazon. The homemaker Easy Crafts or Deco Exchange. If that's what you're talking about. Are you talking about the bow maker, Miss Beth? Twelve inches long. Now, believe me, when I first started, I didn't have one either. So I cut it the old-fashioned way by rolling it out my mat and going step at every 12 inches. That works too. Cardboard box. Have an old cereal box. That works. So now we're going to dovetail the ends. So I'm just going to fold it in half where the wires touch each other. And then we're going to cut from the wire to the fold with the fold being towards the ceiling. And we're going to cut at a 45 degree angle. Yep, yeah, okay. So Beth says if you're looking for an easy deluxe bow maker, the older version that Hot Mesh Mom Carrie um, has them for $14.99. So you might check her out. You made a 4th of July wreath in the style of yours. You love yourself. Thank you, Miss Virgie. I just didn't make the bow. You can get rid of bows, Miss Virgie. It just takes practice. Awesome. I'm so proud of you loving what it came out. You're very welcome. That makes me so happy. I really do. I really enjoy knowing that you are learning and enjoying what you make. Because sometimes you can make something and you don't enjoy it. And you don't like it. And then you're just looking at it. Going, what was I thinking? So I really do enjoy hearing about your successes and your wins and that you like it. That's awesome. Oh, right, Wendy. Oh, that is on my Amazon wish list, Miss Wendy. So when my husband says, what do you want? It's right there. I said, just go to my wish list. Just buy me something there. I just can't, mine still works, you know, so I can't see the reason for uh, buying a new one since mine still works. So I, I keep trying to break it, but it still works. Why is that? Why is it when you want something to break so you can buy something new? It won't. It just keeps working. It keeps going on and on and on. It's like the Energizer Bunny. It never runs out. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's on your wish list too, right, Cindy? Yes. It's sturdier. Mm -hmm. The peg, uh, the pegs, I screw in, right? Oh no, Miss Virgie. Tell it to quit misbehaving. Mm. 
the Easy Bow Maker is definitely on my list. The the Pro, the new one. Because I know on this one I've got my pegs glued in. So that's why I want that one because you can screw them in and they won't fall out. How thick are the ribbons you're using? They, I've got three two and a half inch and one one and a half inch. And I think I need another one of these. I think I didn't cut enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, I didn't. It's another good reason why I pick up three at a time. One, because my OCD won't let me cut more than that and not be a perfect angle, right? So if you don't have an easy gel, that's how you cut the ribbon. Just lay it out and cut it at 12 inches. Yes, ma'am, Miss Jackie, ask any questions you need. Now they go through the bottom of the board is about four inches wide. Easier to see the numbers. Awesome. The sign today came from Deco Exchange, Karina. But Miss Tina at Out in the Country does have wood signs and metal signs that you can look at. And then use your discount code CHARMS. But today's came in. Um, Deco Exchange have a, has a subscription box every month. And you get mystery goodies in this box. It's not a kit, per se. It's just stuff to use to make wreaths. So it's like an inspiration box. Or sometimes you can use things that you've never dreamed that you would ever use. And some of them I still have sitting over there because i still yet to use them. But that's where the sign came from. The sign, the mesh, and the... Um, yellow ribbon with the bee and the daisies that all came in that kit for this month. You're welcome, Karina. You don't have easy deals, so I use the bow maker. There you go. That works, Susan. So I said, you don't, you don't have to have it. Use a cardboard box. When you empty a cereal box or any kind of cardboard box, just empty it out. Just cut it 12 inches or however long you want it. And you can use it to wrap your ribbon with. So cutting the dovetails up post. Yep, I sure can. And so we're just taking our edges and making sure they are even. So everything's in a line. And then we're going to, let me get closer to the camera. We're going to fold it in half like that to where our wires match then I'm going to turn it to where my fold is on top my wires are at the bottom and then I cut in a 45 degree angle oh no sorry sorry you didn't hear me say that's what I got the name I didn't, sorry. I figured everybody had it by now. And just cut it right in a 45 degree angle. And then you get that perfect little dovetail every single time. Now you know I'm gonna have to go pick up all those. Cause of course they didn't land on my table. I'm sorry, Wendy, I'm sorry. You had the heritage scissors on your wish list? Mm -hmm. Well, we get up to 200 viewers, we'll give away a pair of Heritage 200. Scissors today. How about that? We'll do a scroll up and scroll down for a pair. You're welcome, Beverly. Yes, it is definitely all wired. I don't use non-wired ribbon. I'm sorry. I really, I, I hate that. I hate that I spoiled it. Yeah, I didn't like this month's either. Wasn't my favorite. All right, so now we're going to put 
our ribbons into pairs. So we're going to put, we've got two yellows, two blacks. So these I would say are more plain or these are more pattern. So we're gonna do this one and this one. You just got mine, just gotta get some black mesh. Woo -woo. So we're just gonna fold them in half just to find our midpoint and so that way it's already done. I really, really am sorry. I didn't even think about nobody having, somebody not having their box yet. I'm sorry. I, I hate that. I'm sorry. Because I know people really love the surprise of what's in it. Oh, good Lord. Shannon, I don't need not to know on no TV. But you can come fold my clothes. Yeah, definitely much better than last month's. Not sure why anyone would be upset. <laughs> I said, because some people really like the surprise element of the box and don't want to know before they get to see it with their own eyes. So that's what I'm sorry about if I ruined it for those that like the surprise element. Never crossed my mind. It's just a box. But, you know, with some ladies, I have seen some ladies' comments about just a box. And... You know, when even Parker's gone live to show what's in the box and they still hadn't got theirs yet, they were like mad that he was showing it. I was like, ooh. You know, you don't have to watch if you really don't want to know. But I didn't tell you that's what I was doing, so that makes a difference. Uh, yeah, Shannon, I love the boxes. They're almost always great boxes. Almost always. Listen, sometimes there's some things in there that I'm looking at going, what am I going to do with that? Like the rain boots we had. <laughs> right, Wendy? Not saying it was me, but I'm just saying. I've seen it. Just pop back on. Well, where did you go, Miss Dawn? Uh, the subscription box is Damon Oates, so uh, wreathsupplybox.com, I believe is the web address, and they are $65 a month. You haven't used the, I didn't even use the star either, Charlie. Oh, shoo. I'm glad it's just not me. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Hello, Carrie from Georgia. Welcome, welcome. Everybody tell Carrie hello. Tell her howdy. I just looked and apparently I've been removed from the subscriber list. Bet. What did you do? I didn't do it. I, I, I can't remove you. So that wasn't me. Oh, you're not talking about my subscription. You're talking about Damon's. That I don't know. I can't help you with that one. All right, so that's what our base looks like before we get our ribbons on. Hello, Dorothy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, Virgie. You used the star. Yolanda, were you one that put the star on the grapevine? So that's our back. Yeah, I got charged 65 for my last one. And I was only doing 60 also. So a nice clean back. Can't even tell where the Chanel stems. That's why I like to match my Chanel stems with uh, my bottom mesh. So we're going to look for the one spot that our two Chanel stems are in a just straight line. And that's where we're going to start our ribbons. So we're just going to pick one pair, open it, and where it's folded right there, that's where we're going to scrunch it. 
right up the middle and make our cute little bow tie. And once they make the bow tie, that goes right in as another layer right on top of your mesh and just wrap that in there. And now we're gonna make an X with these ribbons and kind of curl them back into your mesh after you put them in there. So it makes kind of like a little flower petal. When normally it was 60, just plain 60 twirling, and this time it was 65. Or maybe, you know, I thought it was just 60, I should say. Could be I just didn't uh, pay attention that well. You think it's taxed? It was it just this time that they've done it? Have they been doing that all along? So we just open them, making an X, alternating between the two different patterns so we don't have two that are just exactly alike. All right, Miss Dorothy. Got it. All right, so we're opening up. Scrunching right up the middle. Again, another layer. It was just 60. I'll have to look again. Maybe, as I said, maybe I, it could be me. So again, just right into the Chanel stem, not opening up or anything. Just lay that right in there. Push to the bottom, towards the frame. Wrap it in there. Okay, hello Joe. Have you got your wreath yet, Miss Joe? And then we got a black here and a black here. So I don't want to, when I make the X with it, I don't want the same black to go up here so it's in line with that. I'm going to separate them out. So I'm going to make this one go down and have my bees go up. You're welcome, Miss Dorothy. Holler if I need to do it slower. You bought the 4th of the line truss. Ooh, yes. I sold that one yesterday. I have to make another one. Oh, darn. I hate when that happens. Hello. Thank you, Robin. You were trying to go up and down. Not yet. Well, it should be there. Maybe they had a slow time with the rain. I'll check it, though. This should be there. Uh, any minute. 18 inch or 14 inch frame. This one is an 18 inch. I like to do the 18 inch the best. So, so. I was trying to do them like the mesh. No, we need opposite directions kind of than our mesh. Because we don't want them competing. We want to see our mesh. We did all that work on that mesh and to make them cute little curls. We don't want to have them cute little curls, right? We want to be able to see them. So we're going to do these kind of like in the opposite corners of where our mesh is. Evelyn, how's it going? Get all of, them, then he goes to sleep. Hey, of course, you should have known that. Can you bring me a Dr. Pepper, please? I can. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm doing all right. I'm so glad to hear that. Sorry. Little big man had to come in. He had started football practice or football conditioning. Summer conditioning started for him today. You know, when it's going to be 100 degrees this week, thanks, bud. Yep. He has to be out there and uh, running around and exercising and lifting weights and all that lovely, glorious Texas heat. I'll look it up, Miss Joe, and find out when exact delivery date. It should be there any, I mean, any minute. Doesn't usually take it that long. But it was the weekend. And they are the shipping gods, right? 
So we know they do nothing wrong. Can you tell I'm being a little bit sarcastic? Just a little bit. I can't wait to see it. I want a picture after you put it up. I want to see it up. So we have started our new summer routine now with him starting his football workouts. He has to be there at eight, 9 o'clock every morning, Monday through Thursday. So I had one week to sleep in, and that was it. One week. But at least he gets Fridays off. Would you get your box to learn about FedEx? They send mine to the post decorate. Not FedEx delivers mine. Craft Outlet sends by FedEx. And so they deliver it right to my front door. I don't ever have any issues with anything going to the postal service. Do you live kind of out, Charlene? What was that? We lost you for a second. You lost me. That's not good. I was just talking about my son doing his uh, his football. That's it. Just got on here. What size wreath form are you using and how did you use the mesh? Hello, Joni. Welcome in. We have got an 18 inch wreath frame with 18 ties. We have two colors of deco mesh. We have a black and a yellow and black drift, border drift. And they are done in the woodland ruffle method. Done horizontally and vertically on the mesh. Now, Facebook's being finicky. Gotta love it. Not. I don't think anybody says, ooh, I just love Facebook. That is why I'm trying to grow YouTube because Facebook is a big issue and causes trouble and freezes and drops and don't let you comment. So that way we have backup place to go live if Facebook is being yucky. We can go live on YouTube. They used to deliver mine. Now you leave two bucks from... Seriously? That's awful, Chorling. Do you have your P.O. box as the address? Welcome, welcome, Miss Tammy. Making two memorial crosses. Very cool. Congratulations on the order. That's awesome. You're welcome, Joni. How long would you cut the ribbon for a 14 inch wreath? I like 10 inches. Because I like to have a good balance of mesh and ribbons being seen. So I do 10 inches on a 14 inch frame. But again, that's a personal preference. Yep, I got your address, Miss Nancy. That's cr and no clue. That's crazy. Tell them to uh, quit being the shipping gods and just deliver it to your house. Explain placing the 18 times again. On the outside, Miss Beverly, we start at one bracket. It doesn't matter which one you start at, just pick a bracket. And then you're gonna go every five inches and you're gonna paste another Chanel stem on the outside. So the outside, every five inches. And on the inside, if you're using the Dollar Tree 18-inch frame, there are eight sections on the frame. So you put this Chanel stem in the middle of every section on the inside. You got yours at 10 inches too. Hello, Vanessa, welcome, welcome. 
My grandson was home from work today, so I'm going to have him help me with the YouTube thing. Yes, Nancy, you go. I'm still trying to learn that YouTube thing. So I'm glad I have kids, because then they can show me how to do it. Isn't that crazy? We have to ask our kids to show us. It's like, ah. Oh. Enough with the technology. Enough. Thank you, Joe. They like those crosses. I sold both of mine. Yep. Those crosses are a big hit. Now you know why I was joking. I said, go get you some crosses. If you don't have the Hobby Lobby crosses, go get them. I told you. I told you. Go buy them. Cut size mesh for a 14 inch frame. Um, depending on um, how many how many colors of mesh you want to use. I like to still do 20 inches for two colors mesh. You can do 30 inches for one color mesh or you can do 15 inches for one color mesh. So there you got you got choices on that one. Lived in Washington, the mail carrier was being lazy and bring my packages to the store. Oh, that sucks. Stinks. Mm, stinks. That stinks. Thanks, Jessica. Very disappointed. Oh yeah. I never buy. Except for a holiday time. And that being Christmas holiday time. And maybe some fall. I don't buy Hobby Lobby ribbon. There's one that's not a good length. They're always less than 10 yards. And even at half price, you're paying about the same that you would pay at one of the craft stores online for a 10 yard roll. So the only time I look for their ribbons is holiday time. Thank you, Miss Anita. The yellow came from Deco Exchange. You're welcome, Lords. And that's what it would look like with all of our ribbons on. Looks almost like a bee itself. I love that fuzzy edge ribbon. I tell you, I'm just in love with it. That's awesome, Judy. 12 inches, Mary Ellen. If you're talking about the ribbons, the ribbon length was 12 inches. The mesh length was 19 inches. You're welcome, Anita. Thanks, dude. All right. So now we're going to glue our cable mount on. You're welcome, Mary Ellen. Let's get a little bit of hot glue to glue that cable mount on. Make sure it stays on spot. And we'll sit that over there to dry. And now we're going to grab our black glitter balls. Then I'm going to grab my white tubing. I forgot it. Of course I did. And this is why I need black tubing. I would really like to have some black tubing for this one. I 
Thank you, Patty. The sign and Nancy came from Deco Exchange. Thank you, Nancy. So we're going to cut our tubing in about 17 inches. Then I'm just going to make a tail in my hand and make a loop and another loop. And then a tail as long as the first loop. Again, that's about 17 inches long. And we're going to add this as another layer right on top of our ribbon. So no opening the shell nail stems. Just place that rod in. Twist it in a couple of times. And then we're going to add our black styrofoam glitter balls. These are from Dollar Tree. They're just glitter blasted styrofoam balls. And the wire in the Chanel stem sticks right into there. And that's what it looks like with our tubing and glitter balls in there. You forgot to put tubing? That's okay. At least it wasn't the uh, Chanel stem you put to, forgot to put in. Tubing's okay. You can forget to put your tubing in. It's just a little extra thing in there. The extra, extra. Black are very, very rare. The black tubing comes out at Halloween. Fall, Halloween time. So you have to stock up then. Or you have to pay craft prices, which is like 10 bucks for a bag of it. And I don't like to pay 10 bucks for a bag of it. So I bought like four cases. That wasn't enough. I didn't realize I would use black as much as I do. I use a lot of black of the tubing, the glitter balls. It was really interesting how many times that I really did use it. Can I show how? Yep, Miss Jackie, I sure can. I'll give you two different ways to fold it. One may be easier for you than the other, so I'll show you both. For me, Find the end. I just put it in my hand. Okay. And then I make a loop. And then I do a loop. And then a cutter tail. And that's all that you do. Or, if this one doesn't work for you, cut it at 17 inches. Okay. Take your ends and overlap them to make little tails. Okay. Hold that in one hand. Just a looks like a roller coaster. Anybody ever seen another roller coasters? In and out. And then just take the one side to the other side, and that'll make you that same little loop. So you can fold that either way. We went and looked and they put your address after seven months. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that fixes it. We always have black at the Dollar Tree here. Oh! You need to be my friend, Joe. If you get black tubing and black glitter balls, your best friend here will uh, buy them from you. So if you ever see them, pick them up. And I will gladly pay you on Tuesday for black balls today. Your Dollar Tree usually puts out Halloween in July. I'm gonna start checking it out as soon as possible, but yeah, as soon as it's on there, we need to all start ordering it. Heck yeah. 
I didn't know it was as quick as July, but I'll definitely start watching. Do the styrofoam balls have a hole in them? Nope, no hole. I'm making my own hole, Miss Joni. It's a solid styrofoam ball. No holes, no nothing in it. Just a squishy styrofoam. And the wire of the Chanel stem. Give me two seconds and I'll put one up close. Right, so here's your Chanel stem. You have that little wire that kind of sticks out there a little bit. And this is your styrofoam ball. You just press it on there. And that's it. And it doesn't come off. It's on there nice and tight. I mean, you can pull it off. But you don't need to. And you don't have to glue it on. It's on there nice and secure. Yep, that's why I say I always watch those $5.99 shipping specials that Dollar Tree puts on and load up shipping to the house. Aw, oh, thank you, Joan. I'm glad you're my friend. I like friends. You did your behalf last night, Mickey. Woo-woo, how'd it turn out? If you don't have these cute balls, how would you finish off the stem? Either adding um, flowers, flowers is a good, stars, stars is a good, um, anything foam decorative, but if you don't want to add anything whatsoever, then just push your ties back into, so you've got the end, so you can either cut them or push them back down into your wreath, just like that. So you're hiding that back in there. Hello, Big Daddy. What's happening? Yeah, Mardi Gras balls. Yes. Hello, Miss Karen. Yes, I saw that picture. Everyone was so cute. Welcome in, Miss Nancy. So, what's up, Big Daddy? How's your day going? Going to work on a burlap wreath today with sunflowers. Go, Miss Nancy. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, they send out, if you sign up for the email addresses, Melissa, they sent emails out this morning that said that they had the $5.99 shipping. And Miss Patricia said that the code word for Dollar Tree is sunshine for their shipping code. So for those that need it, the code is sunshine. You need a nap. I'm oh, sorry. Are you still doing yard work? Too dang hot outside, right? What's temperature right now? It's got to be 90 something. Karen, how's it going, my dear? Welcome, welcome. Everybody tell Philip hello. That is my hubby. He pops in at break time. He's at work. Well, I hope you're done with yard work by now. What's the temperature outside? Sunshine shipping code for Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. 93. Well, that's not bad. As I'm the one sitting in the house in the AC, I can tell him that's not bad, right? Eat you a popsicle. You do yard work early. Well, he's got 150 yards to, uh, deal with so sometimes they can't get them all done early unfortunately 
And then it depends on what the temperature is after lunchtime on whether they continue yard work in the afternoons or not. He mowed this morning at eight. Oh, it's a good idea. He was mowing at 11 to 20 when I went by, waved at him from the air conditioner of the car. He was out mowing on the, had the zero ton mower going and I, I waved and said, hello. I know I was mean, wasn't I? But I did go by and ask him what he wanted me to fix him for lunch, so I did do that. See, I was nice. I wasn't just mean. Deco Exchange just sent a note of stem cutters on sale for ooh, $110 in free shipping. Awesome. Anybody's looking for a stem cutter, Deco Exchange had them on sale. Thank you, Miss Sue, for that information. I know. I'm I'm bad, ain't I, Kristen? I'm bad, I know. So I can give him a hard time. He's on the other end of the computer, right? He's not standing in front of me. So I can tease him when he's not close to me. Ooh, you pushed mode? Yeah, Troy Lane. At least he's on a riding one. All right, babe. Have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you in an hour. Love you. Bye-bye. He's sweet. He gets 15 minutes of break time and he pops in and says hello. Hang out with us. That's the last one of our tubing going in. Miss Dorothy, if you go to start your wreath and you can't and decipher what your notes say, because uh, if it's like my notes, by the time I'm done and I look back at them, I'm like, what did I say here? What was I trying to write down? Just send me a message and I will help you with whatever you need help with. Don't hesitate. And that goes for anybody. If anybody has any questions about Reese while they're working on, even if I'm not live, it is 100% A-OK -okay for you to message me here on the page. And I normally answer pretty quickly, unless I'm sleeping, driving, or cooking dinner. Then it might take me a minute, but I do answer back. So anybody's more than welcome to send me a message. If you have any questions, and I'll be glad to answer. Thank you, Miss Angela. You got your box last Friday. Yay! Now we're going to make a bow. We're going to do a terry bow. All right, when you take your bow maker, think of it as a uh, an X. That's a plus sign. We'll do a plus sign. What size are shipping boxes, Karen? Uh, Miss Karen, on a wreath this size, I put them in a 24 by 24 by 6 box, and the cost depends on where it's going. <clears throat> they can go anywhere from $13, $14 to $25 is the most that it has cost to ship, and that was going from here to California or to New York. Those were the two of the most expensive places to ship to. But, as I said, it just depends on where it's going, but I always do that size of box. You can't get the hang of making bows, well, here you go, Miss Patty. We're going to break this down nice and simple, and we're going to give you some visuals, okay? So your bow maker is, is a plus sign. So you have your bottom, and then you have your dowel rods. Your dowel rods are your vertical line. Your bow maker is your horizontal line, right? 
So we have a plus sign right here. And we see that plus sign. You're welcome, Karen. So we've got first quarter, second quarter, third corner, fourth corner. We got four corners. One, two, three, four. And that's where we're going to put our ribbons. We're going to put them in each of the corners. And we're going to alternate using a tail and a loop in each corner. So you're not going to have two of the same things being a loop or a tail or two loops in one corner or two tails in one corner. It's always going to be opposite on what you're going to do. Yay, Linda, that's awesome. So I always start each ribbon with the tail. And the tail's always going to be opposite of where I started, okay? So my first ribbon is going to be a tail in corner one. And the length of my tail depends on my sign. And so this sign, I am probably going to put a belt right there. So my bow's going to go over here. So I'm going to do a 12 inch tail. So we got eight, 10, 12. So we got a 12 inch tail. And it's going to go in, in corner one. And so I always start on the right side because I am right handed. So it's my dominant side. So I always start on my right hand side. So now we're going to do a six inch loop. So we have a six inch loop right there. And it's going to go in corner four. And now we're going to do a six inch loop. And it's going to go in corner three. And then we're going to end with a six inch tail. And that's going to go in corner three. And we're going to go ahead and dub that top corner. So that way your pretty side of your ribbon is always up. On a solid ribbon, it doesn't matter. But like when we get to this, see how the back side of that ribbon looks and the front side of the ribbon looks? If you don't twist your ribbon, then your next loop is going to be upside down. So you have to twist that ribbon when you go in there so when you make your loop, your ribbon's right side up. So if you get in the habit of twisting, you twist them all. It doesn't matter, plain or not, you're in a habit of twisting it. So that's why I twist the solid, because everything needs to be twisted, right? That's what my brain thinks, we gotta twist them all. So it's just a better habit to do, just twist everything and then that way. Yep, we're gonna do it again with the next one, Miss Karen. Or you want me to do it again with the bottom one? Top tail is always smaller, yes? And it doesn't have to be six inches, that's my recipe. There are a thousand recipes on how to make a terry bow. This is my recipe, okay? So to do it again, we have a 12 inch tail that goes in corner one. Okay? Then we have a six inch loop. And then it goes in corner four. And then we have a six inch loop going in corner two. And then we have our six inch tail in corner three. So your loops are diagonal and your tails are diagonal. And it looks like an X. So if you look like an X, you're good. So our next color Okay, we're going to go ahead and dovetail that because we're always going to start with the tail. You're welcome, Karen. Always start with the tail. And we're going to alternate. Tail loop, tail loop, right? So if we're starting with a tail, we don't want to start with a tail down here because we just put a tail down here. We're going to put a tail at the top. That's why I went ahead and dovetail it. We have our six inch tail. And it's going to go in corner two. Hello, Belinda. Welcome, welcome. And then we're going to do a five inch loop. So you need to go down an inch to a half an inch. Each ribbon, make your loops just a little bit smaller. So this one's a five inch loop and it's going to go in corner 
three. Because we had a tail here, right? So now we're going to do a loop on top of that tail. Hello, Renee. And then we're going to do a five inch loop on this side. And it's going to go in corner one because we had a tail here, so we need to loop here. And then we're going to do 12 inch tail to match this one in corner four. You just got off work. Well, welcome, welcome. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We're glad you're popping in and hanging out with us. So this one had a loop. We ended with a tail. A loop. So we get how we're alternating them. Loop, tail, loop, tail. Diagonals are the same. Put in an X. Right? So now we're going to come back with our polka dot. And we're going to do it with our tail first. So we did our tail up top, right? Five or six, Karen, it doesn't really matter. I do six inches. That's my preference, but five is okay. My recipe is a six inch tail. So we're going to start with the tail from the next color. So our yellow tails go up, so this tail's going down, right? So now we need a 12 inch tail. So this is where I was saying if you don't twist your ribbon, see, I did it anyways, it's habit. I was going to show you. So if you don't twist this ribbon when you put it into the dowel rod, when you go to make your loop, your loop's upside down. We don't want upside down loops. So that's why you twist it as you put it in there. So when you go to do your loop, your pretty side of your ribbon's up. So this is going to be about a four and a half inch loop and this one's going down because so we had our tail here so this loop is in corner four four and a half inch loop on this side and it's going in corner two and then we'll have our six inch tail on this side and that will go in corner one three sorry corner three And we're going to dovetail it. Still in our X. Loops, tails, diagonal. We still got our X going. And we're going to grab our next. So where do we need our tail? We have our tails going down, so we need to tail up top. We got a six inch tail. It goes up. And we're going to do a four inch loop to corner three. A four inch loop to corner one. And a 12 inch tail in corner four. I like to use four two and a half inch and one one and a half inch. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, but absolutely, once you understand where you're putting the pieces, it makes it so much easier to put them there. When you know what you're doing and, and you're putting them, you know, one by one, it makes it a lot easier to do it. So we've got our four two and a half inches, and then I'll always end with a one one and a half inch on top. So the one and a half inch, since it's our final ribbon on top, it's a little bit different. Some people do a one loop to cover your Chanel stem. My OCD doesn't like the one loop, so we do the two loops. So we're gonna make our 12 inch tail. And then we're going to do a three inch loop on this side and it's going to go horizontal with your board and it's going to stay horizontal right in the middle. It's not going to go in a corner. We got a three inch loop on this side and then its tail is going to come down because we have matching tails on the front for our final ribbon. You're very welcome, Miss Patty. Mm. 
And we're going to grab our Chanel stick. And let's use the black one. And to me, I think a terry bow is very easy because it's not precise. It's precise, but not precise in its design. So if you do a six inch on one side and a five inch on the other side, it's okay. It, it, it doesn't have to evenly match. So when you're first playing with it and trying it out, I like it for a beginner. So now we're just gonna push it down with our thumb and we're gonna pull up the ribbons in the back with our fingers until we get them off. So make sure you have all the ribbons before you completely take it out of that bow maker. Make sure you got a good grip on it and then lift it out. And then you're gonna put your Chanel stamp in those indentions where the dowel rods go. And we're just gonna place those right down in there, right under your thumb. Grab it around the back, pull it tight, and then we're gonna twist our ribbons. Now you know how to make a bow, Miss Jo, absolutely. And then we're gonna dovetail the ends I make sure my loops are the same. They're not. And it's okay. All we're going to do is take this and pull it a little bit until they are even. Look, our loops now match. So now I, just, I pinch them in the middle here and then kind of lay my bows, my loops over. And that hides that Chanel stem in there. So if you have a Chanel stem in there that is a different color from what you're using, it hides it. What brand? It's Easy Craft. Easy Craft Deluxe Easy Bow Maker. I like to grab these two that are my front ribbons and dovetail them at the same time. So that way I know they are exactly the same size. The rest of these I'm not really worried about being exact because they're, most of the time they curl up around the wreath so they don't have to be exact, but I like the front ones to be exactly the same length. I think Beth said earlier that the bow maker was on sale at hotmeshmom.com for $14.99. And if so, that would be the cheapest out there. Amazon has it for like $27. Uh, Deco Exchange carries it for $19.99. So, but it's an easy craft. They have their own website to easycraft.com. And it's a deluxe easy bow maker. Love it. It's my favorite. All right, so once you get through dovetailing, see how it's kind of split in half here? All we're gonna do is move these tails and loops back into our four corners. So just imagine your imaginary line right here. Just move these around and open your loops into your, back into your four corners. And that way it'll close that bow and make it look rounded. I do not use a bow bodabra to make a bow. I have one. So we just pop our tails. My bow dabra holds mesh. It holds, right now it's got about six Chanel stems in it. I just use it to hold other things. I don't use it to make a bow. And there's our cute little bow. And we're gonna put our Chanel stems on our side. Thank you, Virgie. Absolutely, they can, Joe. Spray them with a sealant. There's uh, lots of different kinds of sealing spray that you can put on it to help with UV protection and you know yellowing and that type of stuff. So I would definitely spray it with a protector 
before putting it out there, but you can use it out there. What'd you get, Miss Dorothy? You got that bow maker? They're not going to last forever. And if there were big storms, they would probably blow away. So I would definitely go pick it up and re-put it back down once the storm's passed. I wouldn't leave it out there to the storms. But just a little rain, then absolutely. You got the Bodebra. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I, literally. Look, I'm walking over here, grabbing my little Bodebra. That's what my Bodebra does. That, that's, that's my, yay, Nancy, awesome. Hello, Miss Rhonda. But that's what my, that's when, that's all I use it for. As a holding holding station it held my camera when I first started lives now we're gonna grab our darning needle and this comes from Hobby Lobby Amazon Joanne's Michaels you can get it in the yarn section and that's what we're going to use to put our Chanel stems through our mesh. We're going to put that right there. So we're just going to thread the Chanel stem through the eye of the needle. And then just tuck that right into the mesh. Oh, I don't like it at all. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Kim. Miss Kim's going to have a grandson. So exciting. Hello, Paula. That's awesome, Kim. Congratulations. Love me some stinking rotten boys. And they are stinking and they are rotten. Okay, we'll put this over. And we're going to tie our Chanel stems on. And I'm going to take my Chanel stem that's come through, and I'm going to tie it to the nearest bracket, whether it be the Chanel stem bracket we made or the metal bracket from the frame, whichever the closest. And we're going to weave it around, back and forth, that bracket so that Chanel stem doesn't slide up and down. Yes, Melissa. Absolutely. So same thing with this tie. Find the nearest. Bracket. Weave it back and forth. When I had my Etsy shop in my description, it said, My wreaths were not made to withstand extreme temperatures, extreme storms, will fade in the sunlight. Yep. Yeah, three boys and no girls, Miss Patty. I got same thing. Three boys, no girls. Right, so now we're going to find our middle point. And we're going to put our hanger on here. Now to find out what our grandbaby do in December. Aw, that's awesome. Look at you and all those grandbabies. You're not going to know what to do with all them grandbabies. You're welcome, Melissa. Turn my hanger. 
now I need my metal hangers for my display. This is when you know you had a good show. When your display hangers look like that, we had a good show. So these are just wire hangers, shower curtain hooks that I use on my display racks. I'll go ahead and put that on now. So I don't have to worry about it when it comes time to hang them up. And I still sometimes forget. But I try to remember it at this point, so I don't have to remember it later. And put your business card on there. Always, always brand your product. You can use it as a pricing if you want to price your wreath. But always make sure they have a way to get in contact with you. In case you forget to hang one out or put it in your bag. Because I've done that before. But if you tie it on, then you always have one with you. And they do work. I had a lady call me this morning who bought a wreath yesterday out at the show. And she wants one this weekend for her friend's birthday. So always make sure you brand your product somehow, some way for them to get hold of you. You will have five by Christmas. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Two boys, one girl. Love my girl. Be best friends. That's why I'm hoping I at least have a granddaughter. So now I got, I got the rotten stinking boys. Got a girl doing August. Not sure they have one doing October. How exciting. Grandbaby. Ah, that's what I figured, Miss Paula. Grandbaby. Otherwise, you are. Uh, woo! That would be a fast baby if you have one in August and another due in October. <laughs> You yeah, have nine grandbabies by Christmas. Awesome, Belinda. Look at all these babies. I love babies. What would you charge for this wreath? Jackie, it's gonna be 75. Plus shipping. You have 32 grandkids and 27 great grandkids so far. Wow, Joe. What a big blessed family you have. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks, Michaela. Thank you, Belinda. Kelly's got two boys and two granddaughters. Love those girls. See? Good Lord needs to give me granddaughters. Not soon, but granddaughters. So same thing with the sign or the bow. I'm just wrapping it around the nearest bracket so it doesn't move. So we're gonna fix our bow. Fix our tails and make sure everything's right where we want it. And there we are. How stinking cute is that? Well, the sign doesn't have to be in the middle. Absolutely not. You can put the sign anywhere you want the sign. It's a big family. You have nine kids. That's awesome, Joe. Yes, baby Carter's a ride. Yes, yes, another. Aw, oh, thank you, Beth. Patty's got 18 grandkids and two great granddaughters. Wow, Paula, you can't get 25. I sell at local markets and online. We have a, a crafter's mall. Down the street so I have a vendor booth in there that I sell them at and then I do weekly farmers markets artesian markets and I sell at those and then I also sell online 
Thank you, Miss Jackie. Thanks, Robin. Beverly has 23 grands and 24 great grands. Four grands with the birthday this month. Four, five, six. Whoa! You got just just have one big party, Miss Beverly. That way, everybody's included. One big party. Thanks, Charlotte. Thank you, Patty. Thanks, Anita. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you, Edith. Thanks, Dorothy. Black and yellow is awesome together. Thank you, Miss Nancy. It is available, so if anybody's interested, it is 75 plus shipping. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really, really appreciate that. Do they charge me at the market? Yeah, it depends on which market it is, but yes, all normally all markets have a vendor fee. Uh, the one I did yesterday was a $25 fee, but I buy two spots, so I, it's a $50 fee. And then the one that I'm going to do on Saturday is a $40 fee. And then um, my vendor booth in the Crafters Mall is a big fee. That's a monthly fee. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Rhonda. Thanks, Nancy. Right, Patty? It was a blessing to have all them beautiful babies. Thank you, Joe. They all live in different states. Aw, that's dinks. You need to have one big party and get everybody together. Thank you, Virgie. You're very welcome, Jackie. And like I said, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to text me. I will more than be glad to help you with anything you need. Thank you, Miss Dawn. Thanks, Belinda. I appreciate you sprinkling it out. Thank you, Nancy. All right, ladies, we are going to hop off of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate that. We will be back tomorrow at 1.30 Central Standard Time. And if you haven't yet, please hit that follow button and turn on your notifications to see when I go live. Facebook likes to see them follow buttons, so hit that follow button if you haven't done that yet. And if you're new here, hit a thumbs up or a heart on this video, and I'll get you an invite to like my page, and then you can follow. You do the same, Joe. Thanks, Dawn. You too. Have a good afternoon, Patty. Thank you, Rhonda, for sprinkling the charms. Yes, ma'am, and Stancy. See you tomorrow. Bye, Belinda. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We will see y'all tomorrow. Have a wonderfully blessed evening. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye.